I awoke, drenched in sweat today. My past memories are haunting me, even in my dreams. I should not have returned. I cleared my thoughts and decided to carry on with what I had begun. I set off for our family's manor in Wales, so that I could finish what William couldn't. I hope Eleanor will not refuse my visit. I don't even know whether she'll still remember me. According to William's diary, the next key must be somewhere at the manor. I have to obtain it. However, I have no clue as to where to start looking. The grate is locked. I'll wait for a while. Maybe the ringing was too short for anyone to hear me. Hmm. Maybe the doorbell doesn't work. I can't hear it from here. It seems that the wires inside barely connect. The left leg of the statue is broken off. There's a nail stuck in the column. It wasn't at all hard to pull out. I'll try to stick the nail under the doorbell so that it connects the wires. That seems to have helped. Someone's coming. What do you want, sir? Madame Eleanor is not expecting anyone today. I am Samuel Gordon from Black Mirror. I am here to visit Eleanor. Take me to her, please. I'm sorry, sir. That's quite impossible. What do you mean? Pardon me. You said you were a Gordon? Yes, Samuel Gordon, the son of Randall Gordon. I'd like to trust you, but I can't. There have been some problems recently and I've got to be very careful about who I let in. Maybe if you could prove your identity somehow, sir. I must say I expected a warmer reception. I'm sorry, sir. I must insist. I hope you will find this to be sufficient proof of my identity. It's William Gordon's mourning card. He is one of the reasons why I have come. Of course, sir. I apologize for the disbelief. Some oodlums tried to rob us a short while back, hence the extra caution, you see. I understand. May we go in now? Follow me. I'll see you inside. <clears throat> Pardon me, madam. Yes, Louis. I see we have a visitor. This is Samuel Gordon. He's come from Castle Black Mirror. Oh, yes. I know who he is, Louis. That's all right. Is your memory failing you? I hope you welcomed our guest warmly, Louis. I didn't know who he was, madam, and therefore I didn't want to let him in. Welcome to Wales, Samuel. 
Hopefully Louis didn't annoy you too much. No, madam. He explained the reasons for his cautious behavior. We need to be extra careful these days. We were almost robbed last week. But that is probably of little interest to you. So why are you delighting me with your visit? Can we speak in private? I understand. Louis, can you return to your duties now? Certainly, madam. Thank you. I am so glad you have come, Samuel. I have not seen anyone from the family in years, and time passes so slowly here. Tell me, how long are you planning to stay with us? Several days, I expect, but I don't know yet. Only a few days? That's a pity. Victoria wrote about what had happened to William. I liked him very much. He was a great man. I regret not attending the funeral, but I am weak, and a long journey might affect my health further. I explained everything to Victoria in a letter. I hope she is not angry with me. Do you know whether she received my letter? I have not received a reply, and I do not know what to think about it. But I have her reply here. I promised to deliver it. Really? You are very kind. I am not keen on waiting in uncertainty. I will read it this evening. But surely, you have not come just to deliver a letter. Tell me, madam, when did you last see William? Hmm. That was a very long time ago. Yes, I do remember. He came to visit me two years ago along with Robert. It was nice to see them again after such a long time. How long did they stay? Less than a month, I think. Why are you asking about it anyway? I'm picking up certain pieces of a puzzle. I see. Do you remember any significant occurrence from that visit? Did William behave normally? I do not remember him behaving in a or maybe, as I recall, he was enormously interested in our family tune. That surprised me. He seemed quite obsessed with it. In fact, he kept asking me about it all the time and finally convinced me to take him inside. I did not want anyone to disturb my ancestor's rest, but I eventually gave in. I don't know what he'd been after though he did not want to answer any of my questions, even though I asked him directly. That day, he really did behave strangely. William was inside the tomb. However, he found nothing, just as he recorded in his diary. I found William's personal diary, Eleanor. I read all the important records several times. He mentions the tomb you spoke about. Are you sure he did not tell you anything about it? Can you remember anything more from his visit? Much time has passed since then, Samuel. But my memory still serves me well. He did not give me any idea why he'd been interested in that place so much. Nothing at all. I understand. You most probably are aware of the curse that has harassed our family for so long. What do you think about it? The curse of the Gordons? You would not believe such a tale, would you? Being a young man of the modern age, Samuel. The chronicles state that Durgham Gordon found his final rest somewhere at this manor. Perhaps this refers to your family tomb. I do not think so. The tomb is old, but not older than 200 years. As far as I know, the tales about Durgham reach much farther into the past. The only thing I know of him is the memorial with his name. Even if the Chronicles did not lie, his grave would have certainly fallen apart a long time ago. William knew that Durgham's key must be somewhere at the manor. I've got to get into that tomb somehow. 
I remember the last time I was here as well. However, I'm a little surprised that you remembered me. Of course I remember you. I have not lived here all my life. You know I also spent some years at the Black Mirror Castle. My memory is the only thing that still serves me well. You were very young then. I can certainly understand that you would not remember the boring visits of relatives from afar. May I know which room you plan to make available for me this evening? Louis will get the East Room ready for you. It is cozy and warm. You are my guest. Thank you. I would also like a word with Richard. Can you tell me where I can find him? Richard? My husband? I do not know. We barely see one another. I will tell you why before you ask. It's that damned chemistry lab of his, and all those nonsensical experiments. You see, when he was young, he was an avowed scientist, but never made his breakthrough. Years ago, he stopped his experiments for a long time, and I thought it was for good. But lately, the old fool has returned to those silly experiments, and would rather spend his time with a microscope and formulae, rather than with me. So you don't know where I can find him? I am angry with him right now. I am not interested in the least what he is doing or where he is. I forbade him to carry out any experiments in the mansion, because I am afraid something might happen. If you want to talk to him, go to the old house in the garden. Most of the time he closets himself in there with his chemicals. Surely you will be able to find him. Do you know that after having traveled a whole day, I almost did not make it past your main gate? Yes, I do. Louis did not want to let you in. You must forgive him. He's only doing what he has been told. Oh, it wasn't just Louis. The doorbell doesn't work. Oh well, this whole place is falling apart. Many things do not work anymore. The mansion is slowly deteriorating. Richard does not care about these things, and I cannot manage it all alone. I'm glad I at least have Louis to help me. Without him, the garden would have become desolate a long time ago. Would you please tell Louis to fix that silly doorbell? Certainly. Eleanor, have you ever seen anything like this? No. What is it supposed to be? Oh, I hoped you would tell me. I'm sorry. According to William's diary, an object similar to this one should be somewhere here at the manor. I really have not seen anything like it before. Will you allow me to examine the grounds of the mansion? Gladly. Consider yourself at home. Just tell Louis that you are my guest. Look at these pictures. Do the images make any sense to you? Hmm. No, I'm afraid they don't. So what do the symbols mean? I'm not sure myself, but I hope to find out. I think I'll go now. It's carved from dark mahogany. The lid hosts a chessboard with only nine fields. A common mirror. Nothing special.